Hello everybody, it is me, Widdershins the Great and Powerful, and it's time for another art tutorial because I felt like it. So today what we're doing is we're going to make this thing, we're going to construct it using ruler and compass, because uh, it's quite nice to do that. This thing is called the trifoil, it's pretty cool, it's Celtic knot, and yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice decoration, as most of the things that I do pretty simple too actually it shouldn't take me that long to do this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with a little dot probably on the lower half of the page and you're gonna take medium sized circle doesn't really matter but probably a not huge because you're gonna need to make three of them fit on the paper so make our little circle here make sure that it's a nice and good circle so okay, if it's not perfect, if it was a perfect circle, you would have broken all the laws of physics. So it's okay if it's imperfect, but what you're going to do is you're going to pick a random point on that circle and draw another circle around it. So it's important that the point that you pick, um, you are able to draw another of a same sized circle on it, just like that. Perfect. Look at that, you got a little Venn diagram. Make a point at the cross of those circles, or at the intersection, as some people with large brains would call it. And you're going to make yet another circle with the same size. Uh oh, a little thing went in. Okay, there we go. I need to get myself a better compass. This one's not too great. But yeah, you're just going to finish up that circle. Oh, I do need to get a better compass. This one isn't the greatest. Now it's getting blocked by this, excuse me. Okay, there we go. It's got a circle. Didn't draw that in very dark, but it doesn't really matter. All that you care about is you have these three points and you have the outside. As you may notice, this sort of three circle triangle thing is going to come up later. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go make a tiny, tiny circle at each of the points. Um, if you can make the circle really tiny, I recommend that. It makes for a finer design. Uh, now what you're going to do is you're just going to go like this. Perfect. And go and do that on all of these intersections. Just like that. Perfect. It's okay if it doesn't go all the way around, it really just needs to go on the inside. And let's see, is that centered? Alright, there we go. Spin that one right around there. It's okay if it's not perfect, it's really quite impossible to get perfect, so we don't need to try. Um, Alright, now we have our three little circles here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take, um, I just had to check up my drawing real quick, sorry for the cut, um, but we're going to take this distance here, so from the distance of one of these intersections to the intersection of the smaller circle and one of the larger circles, doesn't really matter which one, but you're just going to take that distance, try and get it to be as accurate as you can, but of course it's impossible to get it perfect. And you're just going to make a little circle all the way around. Well, sorry, not all the way around. Just a half circle in the interior. So, just like that. And from the next point, same deal. Just do a half circle around like that. And finally, from the last point, just like this, pin it right on the intersection and make yourself happy little half circle. Okay, almost done here. And there you go. Now you're pretty much finished. And it may not look like it, but trust me, it's gonna look real good. Okay, so now what you gotta do, make it look fancy. Come in with your marker. And this is kind of the complicated part. Well, it's kind of complicated, this whole thing, but you know simple steps. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, first of all, 
is let's just focus on this one right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come down this side from this intersection, or maybe actually just a little bit behind that intersection, and connect over to this line here. And then just go down so that you have your first little band here. And you can imagine that band is gonna continue. So you're gonna draw both the sides, and you're gonna keep going past this intersection all the way until you come to the next band. Go across like that. Sorry, this is kind of hard to explain. I'm not doing a very good job of it, but as you can see, you have this little weird V shape. This V shape, you're just gonna repeat that. So you're gonna go up to this point, and you're gonna say, okay, we'll come along here, come along here until we come to an intersection. You're gonna stop, you're gonna go right over here, and we're gonna come right back. There we go, we have another band. And oh, we're gonna go through the intersection this time until we make it over here. Okay, well there's lines there, so we don't wanna cross those lines. So we'll head right on back to this point right here. Perfect, look at that. And now with the third band, you're gonna start down here. And you're gonna say, okay, going along, going along. So, okay, we don't wanna cross the black line, so just go like that. And once again, we'll come back and Let's see, let's just go this way, thread the needle, whoop, just like that. Perfect, and we'll come right on back, it's okay if the lines touch. Still get the point across, but there you go. That is a trifoil, and you can erase all the lines, oh hey, stop rolling around marker. And you can erase the lines if you want, just makes it look nicer, you can color it in, do whatever you want may do a more advanced version in the future, so look out for that. But yes, this has been another Wittershins Art Tutorial. I hope you liked it. Have a wonderful day.